Are you in a bad mood today? Maybe you're feeling grumpy or sad or you're just finding it hard to shake those anxious thoughts. In this video I'm going to give you 10 easy ways to pull yourself out of a bad mood and get yourself feeling good again. First up are a couple of tools that are going to help you get some perspective on your mood. Then once you've got a handle on what's going on there are eight ways that you can try and shake it off completely. First things first, I want to acquaint you with this guy. This is a feelings wheel. I was first introduced to one of these in DBT therapy years ago and I've been using it ever since. I find it really, really helpful. The way that it works is it breaks down the spectrum of human emotions <laughs> into groups, like categories, um, like sad feelings, happy feelings, angry feelings, and then it goes increasingly complex as you get towards the edge of the circle. The thing that I find sometimes is you're kind of gripped by a mood, but it's really hard to tell what you're actually feeling and sometimes where it's come from. But this is gonna help you decode what's happening in your mind. I think you'll be really surprised how helpful this is. The way that I use it is I literally start from the middle of the circle and I just go round and I sort of read every feeling out to myself in my head and I just know when I identify with one, but like in a way that I wouldn't have known if I hadn't seen it written down, right? Um, it's basically just a list that you're going to run through and just try and recognise when there's a feeling that resonates with you and it might just help you identify something that you haven't really picked out in the first place. Next up is sort of a super speedy mood MOT to make sure that you've got everything you need and there aren't any kind of obvious needs that aren't being met that we could meet now to help improve your mood. And there's an acronym for this which is HOLD and it stands for Hungry, Angry, Lonely, Tired. I'm sure you will be familiar that if you're feeling any of those things, it can have a huge impact on your mood. Like when I'm, you've heard people talk about hanger, I'm sure you probably identify with it. <laughs> I definitely do. Like it's much, much harder to regulate your mood when you're hungry. When you're tired, sleep deprived, really, really difficult to regulate your mood. Um, loneliness for me can be like a, um, a trigger for some of my mental health stuff. And I'm sure that that's the case for other people too. And angry sort of speaks for itself. So what you need to do is just run through these H-A-L-T, hungry, angry, lonely, tired, and if any of them are applying to you, you need to address them. So if you're hungry, have a snack, eat some food. It doesn't matter what you've done today, what you've eaten today. If you're hungry, you need to eat. Your body needs food for fuel to keep going and surviving. So find yourself something nutritious and delicious and get fed. If you're tired, take a nap. If you're lonely, maybe chat to a friend. And if you're angry, try writing down what it is you're angry about, just disentangling it a bit, just to get it out of your head and onto the paper so it's not kind of bouncing around in there quite so aggressively. And once you've done that, it's time to move on to this list of activities for pulling you out of whatever funk it is that you're in. Are you ready? As always, I'd love to hear from you if you're finding this helpful, either here or over on Instagram. I'm human.jess and my dog who's just vacated this chair is worried with it. Okay, the first thing to do is really easy and it's get more light. Light is great for your brain and for your mood. So sit near a window, open the curtains if you haven't already, open a door if it's sunny and there's outside space. Um, sit outside for a minute, but just get more light. You're like a, like a plant. You'll be amazed by how quickly a change in the light can help with your mood. The next one is gonna change your mood immediately as well. And that is finding a good playlist, a playlist of feel good music, a playlist of music that you like. Our favorite playlist is one that we made with our Instagram followers where we asked everyone to contribute. A song that made them happy and it's the weirdest collection of songs, but also really fun. But there are loads of playlists that you can find. You just need to do a little search on Spotify, feel good playlist, I don't know, happy music, whatever it is that gets you going, find one that suits you and stick it on. And I promise it will make a big difference really quickly. Bonus points for dancing, singing along, etc. Next up is phone a friend. If you've got a friend with a great sense of humour who never fails to make you smile, now is the time to give them a call. I'm going to caveat this and say, um, if you've got a friend who's in need of help themselves, is not having a good day either, not the time to give them a call. Help yourself before you help them. Um, but maybe drop a friend a text, explain that you're feeling a bit low, um, and see if they're around for a chat. If you can't find a friend, then the next best thing to do is find a podcast that makes you feel like you're talking to a friend. There are some really great ones out there. My favourites are Should I Delete That? with Alex Light and Emma Clarkson. I really like Scam Goddess with Lacey Mosley. Um, but find a podcast that works for you, preferably one that makes you laugh, and off you go. Okay, next up is play with a pet. Um, this is my favourite one. This is my dog, Jess, also called Jess. You might know her as the worried whipper over on Instagram. Playing with our pets is scientifically proven to boost our mood. It releases loads of really great chemicals in your brain. Excuse you, I've got cheese. Just a brief snuggle with a pet could really like 
do wonders for your mood. Second best thing, if you haven't got your own pet, is borrow somebody else's pet. Or <laughs> go online, find your favourite online pet and check out some of their photos or videos. That never fails to make me feel better. Some of our favourites are Doug the Pug, Bruno the Mini Dachshund, Honey the Italian Greyhound. So yeah, if you haven't got a pet to hand, go and find an online pet. I'm gonna sound like a broken record with this one, but go for a walk. It's probably the last thing you wanna do, but getting outside, moving your body, getting some fresh air and a change of scenery are all really good for your mood. So a walk just like ticks all the good brackets. Plus maybe you'll bump into a dog. If you're like me and you struggle to get out of the house, there are ways that I like gamify this for myself. Um, first of all, I find that if I've got my headphones in and I'm listening to like an audiobook or a podcast, then I don't have so much time to like dwell on my anxious thoughts and it's easier for me to just get out the front door. Also, walking to go somewhere incentivize yourself. So um, maybe to your favourite coffee shop or out to get a snack or to meet a friend. I always find that like having a mission helps and not a bad, not like going to the post office, not a chore, like something nice to go and do on your walk really helps me. Watch something funny. Laughing is absolutely a really good way to get out of your bad mood. Maybe like phoning a friend and having a laugh has done that for you, but if not, like funny videos. I live on TikTok. I spend so much time on TikTok. I love like an old school Vine compilation on YouTube. I'll link to one of those in the video description as well. A bit of stand-up comedy maybe, clips from your favourite comedy show, whatever it is that's going to make you laugh. Laughing will 100% take the sting out of your bad mood. Do some exercise. I know sometimes this is a really hard thing to do. Some exercise in your living room will make you feel better. Exercise releases endorphins. Endorphins make you feel better. Don't blame me, it's just the science. I'm not necessarily suggesting that you sit down for like an hour long yoga video or whatever. Maybe just like five or 10 minutes of exercise can go a long way towards putting you in a better mood. You get bonus points. <laughs> brownie points on this one if you find a funny or fun or silly exercise video just something that like is childish and that you can let loose with i'm thinking like 80s jane fonda aerobics maybe an abba workout joe wicks has some really sweet and funny ones that will put a smile on your face i promise i know you know it's gonna make you feel better and last on my list is a hug with a human um a hug with a human is not always possible i totally get that if it is possible though it's a really good one. Again, like, does all sorts of chemical stuff in your brain. It's just, like, a nice way to connect and feel looked after and cared for. So if you've got someone around who's interested in giving you a hug, I would take them up on that offer. If you can't get a hug from a human, get a hug from a pet. If you can't get a hug from a pet, get a virtual hug from a pet. You know what I'm talking about. Get on the old Instagram and find yourself an account that makes you feel like you're having a hug from a pet. And on that note, please check out Jess the dog's Instagram account, she's disappeared again. But our account is worried with it. I couldn't give her enough cheese to make her stay. We've also got a bunch more stuff on this channel that will help pull you out of a bad mood. Um, some very sweet dog videos in our Worried Whippet playlist and some mental health videos if you feel like that's what you need today over on our mental health playlist. As always, we love to hear your feedback. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and we will make more content like this. And drop us a comment, add to this list, let people know what you're doing to Weak yourself out of a bad mood because it's not fun and I know because it happened to me this morning. Anyway, good luck, I hope you feel better soon and thanks for checking in. Bye!